All right, James, this is for you, brother. James is uh, our paint rep that came to our shop from Ben's Paint Supply. And we were talking about how I'm removing rust from certain things. And he thought it was kind of interesting. Figured I should put it on YouTube and show people day by day what's going on. So I will. These are some parts from a 1955 Ford tractor that I'm currently fixing. They are very rusty, as you can see. The rust goes very deep. And I'm going to put them in here, and I'm going to use a fairly natural way to remove the rust. It takes a little while. It's not very fast, but it will work. Here's the grill for the tractor. As you can see, there's rust all on the top, rust in the back. Now, all I'm using is vinegar and molasses at a ratio of 10 parts of vinegar or molasses, or one part vinegar and molasses to 10 parts of water. And the reason I'm using vinegar in here as well is to keep the ants away from eating all this stuff, as I do not need a bunch of ants in my yard either. But what I will be doing is every couple of days I will come out, take another video of the stuff that's in solution, so that people can see that this actually does work. It is not as fast as my sandblaster, but it's a hell of a lot quieter. And I can reuse this stuff, which is nice, which is why I have it in these bins, as I've already used it once on some parts for this tractor, which I will show you in a minute. And all basically you need to do is just make sure it soaks. Now I will have to probably flip these around a little tiny bit so that it works on everything, but that's fine. I've got another idea to do something a little bit later with a sprinkler system type idea that it'll continuously put my chemical rust remover to work. Now to show you some parts that I've already done, this is the dash for it. Now, I've just got a slight protective coating on it right now just to stop it from getting as rusty as those were. I still need to clean it up a little tiny bit because they've been sitting for a couple of months. And, hey, it's Florida and it's humid here. Here's another part of the dash. This is another piece that I did before. Now this, as you can see, was completely rusty. I have to rebuild some of it, but at least that gives me a good base metal to start with. All right, James, I'll be taking a video in a couple of days, and I'll show you this trick, and anybody else who finds this useful, cool.